All right, well, this is our uh, second full day out, third day out. Um, we're doing the uh, Pelican Brewing uh, Catch. It's a Kolsch style ale with lemon. Anyway, it's 4.8% uh, alcohol by volume, 20 IBUs. Um, little 12 ounce cans are nice. I'm usually drink, you know, drinking their stuff out of the bottle. I'm, I'm yeah. a fan of these guys, so. Yeah, yeah, they're great. Yeah, you're right, Till McCorgan. Nice little German. Cold beer. Yep. So, this would be a nice mm. fucking. I expected it to be. Yeah, I don't know actually. I expected it to smell more lemony. Of course, this is the can. Yeah. There's definitely a lemon in there. You get that? A little bit, yeah. God, not me. I don't know. Not like the. A tiny amount of thing. Oh, you know what it tastes like? So it doesn't taste like there's a bunch of lemon juice in it. Well, yeah. Like lemony yeah. something. It what it tastes like is um, sometimes when you like put whole like slices of lemon into a big thing of water, it kind of has that right. real raw lemon, almost like a lemon zest. Mm -hmm. Kind of like kinda the, diluted. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it tastes a little bit like lemon zest or the peel mm -hmm. in with it. Not just like juice added to the finished product no. or something. It tastes like almost like they brewed it with um, like a... Almost like a Belgian style or something. Right. It's like, freaking good. Grating the peel into it mm -hmm. or something. Fucking yeah. yeah. It's great. Very refreshing. Easy to drink. Cold. Nice and crisp. Yeah. Uh, yeah. First thing in the morning too. A real nice easy way to start off. Oh your day. yeah. And it's like, it's great because it's like refreshing. Mm -hmm. You know. I yeah. like it. Me too. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Zesty aroma of lemon peel. So yeah. We were right. That's crazy. Yeah. Clean, crisp. Subtle toasty malt, a little bit. I don't get much toastiness. I get kind of a, really. kind of a bready, sort of malty aspect out of it though. Kind of yeasty and bready a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's some kind of just light raw malt flavor, you know, just from the light Pilsner malt or whatever they use, just yeah. their basic kind of two row portion. The thing I like this about this uh, this brewery is they 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 go into detail about their stuff. Like, it's nice, you know, you kind of know what you're expecting and yeah. you can judge it off of that. How much did it say for IBUs? 20? It was 20, yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, it's not hoppy or anything, but it's it's really well balanced. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a little difficult to balance lighter beers, you know, without it either just being kind of flat and tasteless or like too bitter for the style. Yeah, you know? overpowering or something. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is, these guys are great, like mm -hmm. all this stuff we've done with them. Um, yeah, I should have had this with it. my breakfast. <laughs> right? Yeah, bacon, eggs, and hash browns, like, you know, the mm -hmm. dehydrated stuff, this would have been good with Oh, it. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it'd be good with any kind of breakfast, yeah. stuff, I guess. Well, yeah, breakfast, um, even like a lunchtime sandwich or something it's, like, yeah it's super some. light so it's probably really good with things like that where you'd have like a you know just a panini or a mm -hmm. like a grilled turkey or something um but it's not a lot of hops to really cut through stuff it would be good with spicy food anyway because it's so refreshing right um mm. but it might be good kind of being as crisp as it is with some richer things like if you had a monte cristo or something for lunch mm -hmm. and some fries you know this yeah. would be badass this would be even good with like some cold weather meals, like some chili and stew or something. Like yeah. It kind of offset the heat from that, you know. A little like bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it'd be good with some lighter pizzas too, you know. Like yeah. Had some, uh, like some garlic chicken pizza or mm -hmm. like a Greek pizza or something, you know, with some artichoke and feta and. Yeah. Um, like crumbled chicken or something on there. Mm. Bacon maybe with it a little bit. Yeah. It would be really good just on a thin kind of fire roasted crust. A little fucking... It'd be killer. Like a chicken garlic pizza and shit too would be good. That's what I just said. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is only the first one. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Fuck yeah. But yeah. Anyway, yeah, lighter fare, more pub fare, lighter mm -hmm. pizzas, yeah. Yeah. Fucking or great. just hanging out, you know, waiting for the sun to come up over the trees. And yeah. You got a few minutes and that'll be showing. Yeah. So. 
Yeah, no. it's actually a good woodsy beer. Like, Pelican Brewing Co. And the nice thing is too, I mean, 4.8% alcohol, right? Mm -hmm. So you're kind of in between uh, a Hams and a Bush Light. Right. right. So there's not a lot of booze in this yeah. thing where you could drink several of them and it would be just a nice thing to be able to sit back and just hang out mm -hmm. with friends and pound a few beers, not have to worry about just being loaded out of your mind. Right. You know, you don't get hot burnout on it or anything. It's just like a good, easy drinking kind of lawnmower session beer, you know. Mm -hmm. It's too bad the shit's like ten bucks a six pack. <laughs> yeah, the whole thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah, that's good. 